Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. I have got another extra Halloween video coming your way today and this is a mold kit from Jade Diction. Now I was not expecting this kit. It was a surprise in the post and I got a message from Jade Diction asking if I could share it with you. So I'm squishing it in just before the end and the details will be down below in the description box if you fancy getting your hands on it. I am an affiliate so there is a code there for you as well. First up we have a gorgeous pumpkin mold. I don't actually have a pumpkin mold with a face on it. So like an actual jack-o'-lantern which is super cool and the skull. This is a decent sized skull. Skull. I would definitely say paperweight worthy if you filled this with jesmonite. It would be a heavy little beast. They are super cute. This one here is a spider web. I would say this is more like a chunky keychain size or even a fridge magnet size. It's not quite big enough for a coaster. Same as this little one here. This is a skull with like one big eye and one small eye. Again, very much fridge magnet or chunky key ring size, but this is adorable. This is so, so cute. All of the little things. I absolutely love the coffin and the spider and the cat. And this is what we are going to be making in today's video. Sadly, I couldn't fit in using all of the molds, but I'm going to show you this one. I am using the J Diction epoxy resin for this as well. And I'm just separating it out into my separate cups. I'm going to be using some sparkly, sparkly glitter. Now, if you know me, you know that when I use glitter, I like to pack my glitter in. This is not just because I don't like it sinking. I just like the look of totally saturated glitter. There are ways to stop your glitter sinking. You could wait for your resin to thicken up. If you just wanted a hint of glitter, you could wait for your resin to thicken up somewhat. But also, you could check out Daniel Cooper. He's just come up with a method to stop glitter sinking altogether. So go check him out if you want to learn more. Me personally, I just love the more glitter, the better. That's that's my ethos when it comes to glitter. I am using these three colours by Yvonne Resin Supplies Dem. I've got a black shimmer, a purple shimmer and another gorgeous shimmer. And I'm just using all three to just create some gorgeous patterns and some ombre effects into these moulds. Now, these are teeny tiny guys. I think these would be perfect for earrings. Like if you made a set of two, if you wanted matching earrings, you'd have to fill the mold twice, but you could happily wear mismatched earrings at Halloween, totally allowed. I am just pouring the resin in like black next to the purple, next to the third purple. We've got this witch's brew mix, which is unreal. It's a combination of every Halloween color you could possibly imagine. Look at it, absolutely stunning. Again, this is from Yvonne at Resin Supplies Den. The only issue I started to find is that I used the J Diction 4 Hour Cure and it was super thick, guys. So it's probably not the best resin choice to use for these because the mold is so teeny, teeny, tiny and the resin is quite thick. I think if I was to do this again, I would definitely use a more runny resin, definitely not as thick as this, but here we are. It was still fun. I just cannot get over these glitters. These glitters are so gorgeous. I just carried on filling up the ones that made me happy. I did not fill them all. I, I definitely didn't fill the tree. I thought that it's just going to be so fiddly for a resin that is already thickening up. And yeah, I just carried on going until I was really, really happy. Now the spider at the bottom it's probably my favourite. It is so, so cute. And I think it would make a gorgeous little earring. But the legs, guys, oh my gosh, it was fiddly because my resin had thickened up. I had to use my cocktail stick to kind of like get in there and smush it into the legs. And it's fine. It worked. It did the job. Now, with this one as well, I decided to just use all of the leftover resin that I had from that other mould and put it into this spiderweb mould. I love the detail on this spiderweb mold. It would be so nice if it was bigger. If it was coaster size, that would be really, really cool. It definitely would not fit even my smallest mugs, unfortunately, but it would be amazing if it was like twice the size to get a decent big fat two-handed mug on there for your Halloween hot chocolate. I just poured all of the colours in and I decided to just smush it. At this point, the resin was really thick. Again, that's a human error, guys. I should have used a more runny resin. But I decided to 
throw it all in regardless and then use my stick to blend it all together but also smush it down into all of those cobweb details the spider web details and I know that all of these colors work together anyway so either way it's going to work out pretty because all of these colors blend really really well they definitely do not clash I just used a scraping tool, sorry about the wobbly camera, I knocked the camera, but I'm just using my stirrer to scrape off all of the excess. I want the background of that spider web to be visible because I do plan on putting in a backing colour. Of course you don't have to do this, you could fill it up any way you want. I decided to go bright, I figured the brighter the better, it would be a gorgeous contrast and I'm using the white polyurethane resin from Let's Resin and look how fast this goes. It was incredible. This really gave me, oh, what's the name of that film? Day After Tomorrow vibes, when the ice was coming and everything was freezing. That's exactly what it looked like. This was a few drops of alcohol ink into the polyurethane. And of course, because the polyurethane cures white, it gave me this gorgeous bright pastel pink. And I just knew this would be a perfect background for the glitters that I'd already put in. And of course, the polyurethane sticks to the epoxy, no problem. But that is it, fully cured, and it was time to demold. My initial thought when I was using this mold was to do a black background, but I think pink actually was definitely the better choice here. Look at this, how adorable is it? Again, this would make a gorgeous, chunky, chunky key ring or a fridge magnet. I just wish it was a bit bigger. I could use it as a coaster and I 100% would use that as a coaster if it fit any of my mugs. As for these teeny tiny molds, oh my gosh, they are super cute. Again, they would make perfect pin badges, ideal for like miniature fridge magnets. I did actually, yeah, I took my gloves off. It was so much easier to demold without gloves. Miniature fridge magnets, dangly dangly earrings. If you wanted a matching pair, of course you could pour the mold again to get your doubles, but they are totally adorable, super cute. I didn't fill all of them up because not every single one was singing to me on the day. The spider, the poor little spider. He got a bit messy when I was trying to get the resin down into all of his little legs, but I love the scream face. I love these three glitters together as well. I might absolute favorite has to be the little ghosty and the cat how cute is the cat again these are all from jdiction if you are interested in the mold kit do check them out i'm going to link everything down below alongside your dick discount code diction i was going to say diction code but it works both ways j diction if you are watching thank you so much for sending these over if you could make that spider web like coaster size that would be a dream coaster mold thank you so much for sending them hope you've enjoyed the video and i will see you in the next one which will be my final halloween video of 2023 bye